this is a simple demonstration or discussion of computer's memory and uh, sort of how VBA works with computer memory. When you uh, set up your variables using dim statements, essentially what you're doing is you're naming memory locations. So in this example, you'll notice we have dim number as long. And so that particular memory location, 2, is actually going to be referred to as number in your program. Of course, when your program runs, the computer doesn't really remember the names, per se. It, it just provides a link between memory location and your names in your program. You can think of memory locations very much like mailboxes at the post office. And another thing to keep in mind is that the computer just has a bunch of random junk in the memory before you actually run your program. So once the program starts, but before you've actually executed any statements, VBA will initialize all your memory locations to your numeric memory locations to zero, and strings get uh, initialized to an empty string. Um, it doesn't mess around with any of the other memory because there's no reason to. One idea in programming from a good practices perspective is that you actually should initialize your memory locations yourself to uh, simply signal to somebody reading your program what your intentions are rather than just letting the default behavior take place. So actually I think it's a good idea to store zeros and empty strings into your memory locations. In this example you notice I'm not actually storing zeros or anything into my memory locations, but I am storing the number 10 when I start out. But uh, initializing memory before you use it is a good idea. Some programming languages, such as Java, require it. The program won't run unless you do that. So once we execute that first statement, of course, the memory location that's uh, reserved for the variable number gets the value 10. The basic idea here is, is that you have a value on the right-hand side of your assignment, and you have a memory location on the left-hand side. So the value on the right-hand side gets stored into the location on the left-hand side. In some programming textbooks, they actually refer to RHS for right-hand side and LHS for left-hand side. Left-hand side will always be a memory location, and whatever's on the right-hand side will always be a value. In this example, of course, um, we're actually taking the number 34 and adding it to our memory location called number. So that's going to require the variable number to be actually the value to actually be retrieved from memory. So that value gets retrieved from memory and it gets added to 34. So temporarily you have a 44 right hand value. So that is the number that's going to be assigned to the variable age on the left hand side. To display age of course we have to do another retrieval and retrieve that value from the computer's memory and then we display it on the screen. A very simple idea uh, is that you can only store or retrieve memory values. There's really nothing else you can do with memory values. You store something into it with assignment, or you retrieve it. Um, the 34 plus number is a retrieval, and then message box age has to do a retrieval. So essentially, just keep in mind that you can only store or retrieve values from memory. 